for our reading, our dramatic reading, of the 1907 Diaries of Lucy and Hazel Grover. The reading is about 30 minutes long. After the reading, we'll open the floor for anyone who has memories of Lucy and or Hazel. And um, after that, you can join me in the museum for about a 10 minute or less uh, gallery talk about the exhibit, then I'll give you time just to roam through the exhibit on your own. So our new exhibit is Childhood in Middletown Springs, 1850 to 1920. The diaries from Hazel and Lucy were donated to our collection by Alice Blakely Marsh, who is Lucy's grandchild. Alice, will you stand up for us? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, after I read the diaries, I asked our volunteer, Bree Hunter, to um, transcribe them. That's not right. Bree? <laughs> Bree, are you? Bree, you're here. I am. Yes, okay. Thank you very much. It was a, it was, took quite a while to transcribe the, the handwriting, so thank you. Um, so when the idea of um, popped into my head of having a, a reading of the excerpts of the diaries, I contacted Melissa Chestnut Tangerman, who's a partner in theater in the woods. Will you stand, please? <laughs> Melissa chose the actors to play the parts of Lucy and Hazel. Anya plays Lucy, and Ellie plays Hazel. Uh, Melissa led them in, in three rehearsals before today's reading. So here's the background. On January 1st, 1907, Lucy, who was 14, and Hazel, who was 10, began diaries in identical composition books. Though it is not known why they started simultaneous diaries on January 1st, 1907, and why they stopped writing on May 14th, 1907, their journals give a rare view of family farm life at the beginning of the 20th century. Lucy and Hazel lived with their parents, Will and Katie Grover, who owned and operated a farm in West Tinmouth, about four miles south of the village of Middletown Springs. Their engaging diaries document children's work, education, and play, which are the major themes of the exhibit. So now, let's give a warm welcome to Lucy and Hazel Grover. in forenoon, took five minutes of afternoon recess, and kept us after school ten minutes to make it up. Papa went on the mountain, didn't get back till late, and was pretty tired. Mama and Mrs. Cook gave Hazel and I the youth's companion as a Christmas gift, and it came today. It was a complete surprise. Ironed a little, and mended my glove. Let cows out for Papa this noon, or rather, each and I did. Sabbath reading came today. It was from Grandma, a Christmas gift. Thursday, January 3rd. I went to school and had a good time. I was a little late, but the teacher did not mark me. Sam is married. He brought his wife home. 
I got with Lucy for a Christmas present, the used companion. Lucy got the Sabbath reading for a Christmas present from Grandma. <clears throat> Papa went to Granville. He drove Dick and the Concord rat wagon. I'm 10 years old and study seven books. I'm tired and sleepy. It's raining now. It's rain and it snowed this noon. Snowed at noon, but turned into rain and has kept it up all the afternoon. Went to school. Papa went to Granville with Carcord Wagon and Dick. Mr. Cook and Nellie went to Granville after Sam and his wife, who have just been married on January 1st, and are on their wedding trip. Have not seen her, only just a glimpse of red hair as they went by the schoolhouse. Worked on my sofa pillow, played flinch with Mama. One game. I went to the school and traded pencils with Oscar Hubbard. My pencil was a long red one. His was a little longer, but the same kind and color. We had drawing in place a spelling. Papa was to home all day. Shepherd the dog runs away, so we had to tie him up. It rained all day most. This morning he says we played Puss in the Corner, and this afternoon we played I Spy Out of Doors. We had an awful good time. Rain and forenoon. Went to school, read, and played flinch this evening, except sewing some buttons on my Macintosh and mending it. Was all alone in classes at school all day. Wind is blowing tonight. Awful muddy. Sa Saturday, January 5th. I went to school. I was invited down to Mr. King's to see Genevieve Powers. So I had my lessons heard so I could go. The Lamb Girls were there. We played button, button, who has the button? and quite a few other games. I had a good time. We had for supper head cheese, bread, butter, cake, pie, old fashioned country bread, and I guess that is all. Went to school today to make up for Monday before New Year's. Was invited down to Mr. Kane's to tea with Hazel, Francille, and Dorothy. It was a party for Genevieve Powers. Hazel and I got to school, out of school early, eight o'clock, and walked down. Took us about half an hour. Had a dandy time. Stayed till about 7.30 and Mama came after us. Papa went up to town this evening. Froze last night. Thought a little, but not much today. Was cloudy and dark coming home. Guess it's going to rain. Sunday, January 13th. It was pleasant and was Papa's birthday. I didn't have anything to give him. Neither did Lucy or Mama. But I gave him a quarter. I spanked him twice. He is 50 years old. I went to the factory this morning. Lucy did too. Spanked Papa this morning, first day. It is his birthday today. Went, went to the creamery, but didn't go to church. Frosted a birthday cake for Papa and put Papa five years on it and five candles around it. He was 50, but I left the cipher off. Kissed Papa 50 times tonight. <laughs> Saturday, January 19th. Mama and Papa went to Rutland and brought me a pair of slippers, but they were too small. Papa bought me three handkerchiefs, and I had two all anyway. <laughs> they bought Lucy a pair of shoes and a coat. The coat is a grayish color. Papa and Mama went to Rutland today. They brought me a pair of new shoes and a new coat, gray trimmed with green buttons and braid, and three handkerchiefs. The coat is awful pretty, too. Too pretty to wear to school. Sewed for my dolls. Warm. Rained a little. Cold is a little better. Thursday. Sorry. Tuesday, January 22nd. I went to school. Papa and Mama are gone over to Mr. Cook's. We've been playing Blind Man's Box. I had a very good time. We played with our dolls and dropped the handkerchief. Had an examination and got a hundred percent. Went to school. Mama and Papa went over to Mr. Cook's to a party of a few of the neighbors for Mr. Sim Cook and his wife. Didn't go home till half past twelve. Snowed most all day. It is about six inches deep. Thursday, January twenty fourth. I got a hundred percent in examination. Went to a dance over to Jim McCoy's and had the sore throat, 
so I had to lay down. I did not get back till 10 minutes of 2. Went to school, went to dance over to Mr. McCoy's. Had a real good time and never got back till half past two. All of the people around here went pretty cold. Sunday, January 27th. Charlie, Papa, Mama, Lucy and I all went to church. It has been, it has been a lovely day and most over the sore throat. Papa took the double team in sleighs and took us all to church. Stayed to Sunday school too. Lovely day. Quite cold. Have finished reading The Crimson Blind by Frank White. Tuesday, January 29th. I went to school and played fox and geese. Mama went to Rutland on a lawsuit and had to stay all night. Grandma went too. Mama telephoned to Papa that she couldn't come to Granville. They were going to Granville to dance. Papa has drawn some ice. Went to school. Mama went to Rutland on a lawsuit about library business. She just telephoned to us from the Berwick and said she was going up to Aunt Ada's tonight. Grandma and Aunt Ellen are going to stay at the hotel. Papa got part of his ice. There's an old home dance at Granville. Papa wanted Mama to come down on the train and they go, but she couldn't. Snowed a little. Saturday, February 2nd. Stayed at home until evening. We went down to Mr. Woods to a cheese meeting. Miss Hawkins died today. My cold has felt better today. Papa went to a cheese meeting, so all of us went. Didn't get back till most 10 o'clock. Mrs. Hawkins has gone. She died at about half past three. Funeral Wednesday, don't know what time. Papa was asked to be a bear. Quite warm, rain tonight. Tuesday, February 5th. It snowed all day, and I guess it is a foot deep in some places. I went to school. We could not play outdoors, so we played Puss in, Puss in the Corner. Snowed most all day. Went to school. Snow foot and a half deep. Wednesday, February 13th. Papa has got back. He brought my slippers. I went to school and slid down the hill. Went to school, not quite so cold. Mrs. Cook was over here this p.m. Papa brought me a pair of storm overshoes, also a pair of rubbers. Thursday, February 14th. Papa and Mama went to Milltown, got three valentines, one from Melina and one from Grandma. Papa butchered a pig today. Went to school, got three valentines, didn't expect any. One from Lena, one from Jessie, and one from Grandma. Rained a little. Colder tonight, though. Papa butchered the pig. First this winter. Friday, February 22nd. I went to Milltown. Lucy waited on the table. She stayed up. All of us went to Middletown to a George Washington supper. I was one of the waiters and read in the entertainment. Had to do my hair on the top of my head and powder it. Also wear caps, aprons, and kerchief. Mama has made me a new white waist. It is real pretty. Wednesday, tw February 27th. I stayed at home. Poor Papa went to Wells with logs and had them sawed. He brought them all back as far as Mr. Kane's and left some of them there. The men went on the mountain. The sun has shown, but there is an awful, cold, piercing north wind. Papa went to Wells with logs. Men went on the mountain. Papa went to Rutland yesterday. Monday, March 4th. Mama washed. Lucy didn't feel very good. Papa shot a horse. Didn't feel very well this morning. One of my old stomach turns. Got better after a while, though. Helped Mama do some baking to take up to Mr. Leffingwell's. It is their gold wedding anniversary, or 50 years since they were married. Papa and Mama went this evening. Tuesday, March 5th. We all ironed and ironed. 
tired a little. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Leffingwell got two hundred and eighty dollars in gold, besides other small articles. Tenmouth, Middletown, and Paulet went dry, and Wells went wet. <laughs> Friday, March eighth. Went to school with Lena. Lost candy. Also my knife. Went to Poultney to a public at the academy with Mama. When a friend Blakely is president. It was real good, and I had a lovely time. We went to see Uncle Fred and stayed to supper there. Monday, March 11th. The horses got in the depot at 4.55 o'clock. There were 19 in all. Seven gray ones, seven black ones, and five bay ones. Come home today with Papa. He got a new horse. His name is Darby. Helped Mama wash this a.m. Went over to Mrs. Cook's this p.m. Papa and Hazel came home at about six o'clock. Lovely day. Sun shines and it's warm. Wednesday, March 13th. I went to Wells with Papa. He got a lot of grapes. We drove Maud and Darby. They go real good together. Mama painted the hanging lamp over with gold paint. She also stayed Papa's stand and the stool. It is getting it is, it is getting to be bad traveling. Snow is all going. Papa and H went to Wells after some grain. I painted the bathroom stool and Papa's stand over with Jabala, and Mama gilded the hanging lamp over. Cloudy. Thursday, March fourteenth. It rained most all day. Papa and Lucy went over to Mister Cook's. Rained all day long, washed windows. Mr. Bohm at the cheese factory men here to see what to do about buying the cheese factory. Eureka, they are trying to form an independent company. <coughs> Friday, March 15th, was at home all day. I heard Tim and Minnie, the Colts. I went to an anniversary and did not get back till half past two. Went to Mr. and Mrs. Saul and Lobdell's 15th anniversary. Saturday, March 16th. I'm kind of tired, but feel pretty good. Mr. Jones is here. He's taking a picture of the cows, Shep, and I. Also one of Papa, Mama, Lucy, and I. Dick was hitched to the top sleigh, and Lucy and I got in. Lena has found my knife. Felt kind of old. Went over to Mrs. Cook's this afternoon. Papa has had pictures taken of the teams and barns, cattle and barn, family and house. Frank Jones did it. Lovely day. Monday, March 18th. Mama washed. Mr. Jones has been here today. I'm kind of tired. I saw four robins. Sun shone all day long. Helped Mama wash. Saw four robins. Papa has had three hired men and is expecting another the last of week. Mama and Mrs. Cook are going to entertain the fortnightly Wednesday. Wednesday, March 20th. The fortnightly met here today. I'm quite tired. I guess Mama's tired too. Papa came home today. He brought me two new dresses. I sold one dozen of my eggs. I do not know how much I got for them. Wind has blown a great deal. Papa came back about three o'clock this p.m. The fortnightly came, about eight ladies. Mama and Mrs. Cook served scalloped potatoes, sandwiches, olives, pickles, cake, ice cream, coffee, cold tongue ice refreshments. Has been a better day than yesterday as the sun shone some. Friday, March 22nd. Since supper, pains have been going through my chest and stomach. I'm reading Black Beauty. Cloudy stayed at home and helped Mama mended three pairs of stockings. Saturday, March 23rd. Charlie has trimmed for Mama. Mama and Papa went to Granville. We had a thunderstorm. Papa brought home a pair of overalls for me. Splendid day. Papa tapped about 400 trees, or rather, the men did. Papa and Mama went to Granville this p.m. and got paper for kitchen and bathroom. 
didn't get back till 10 o'clock. I, I dressed it all for Alice Elizabeth this p.m. Got it all done except a belt and then broke the doll's head. It's a perfect shape for, I was in a hurry for it. Mama got a new dress for me. Blue, chambray gingham. Sunday, March 24th. I wore my overalls all day. Did not go to church. The wind blows real hard. It has been snowing. Terrible day. Wind blowing a perfect hurricane and snow too. Stayed at home all day. Had a thunderstorm last night and now today a snowstorm. Pretty changeable weather. Made some fudge this evening. Sunday, March 31st. Today is Easter Sunday. Lucy got an Easter card on her pillow. She don't know who gave it to her. I did, though. <laughs> Went to church with Mama and Mrs. Spaulding. Has been a lovely day. Church was decorated very prettily. A calla lily with two blossoms formed a part. Miss Spaulding is going to stay another week. Has made three dresses and two white waists for each. I got three picture cards in the mail and one on my pillow at night. Can't find out where it came from. <laughs> Monday, April 1st. Today, school began. April flew Charlie, Miss Spaulding, and Mama. I went to school. Mama washed. School began today. Didn't get April fooled but once. Made vinegar tea and had salt water for supper. <laughs> Sewed Miss Spaulding's nightdress up. H did Mama's too. Thursday, April 11th. I went to school. Last night we went over to Mr. Barden's. Went to school as usual. Papa boiled today. About 20 gallons for 75 to 80 in all. Friday, April 12th. I slid down the hill and went to school. Charlie is drawing manure. I got a star at school. H and I slid down the hill in the meadow. Fine crust and lovely sliding. I've been having a toothache for a long while. Front tooth. Sunday, April 14th. I wore my overalls all day and went to the barn and doll around. Stayed at home. Nice day. Have felt real mean all day. Guess I'm coming down with a hard cold. Tooth is ached harder than ever. Set my bantam on seven eggs. Tuesday, April 16th. I went to school. My bantam has got six eggs under her. Lovely spring day. Went to school. Also took a doll that I had dressed in pink over to Alice. Mama went too. H and Papa have gone to Middletown to take some things up. Also to get a phonograph Papa has bought. I got a nice long letter from Helen Lilly yesterday. Haven't heard from her in a long while. H has found her bantam sitting on six eggs. Wednesday, April 17th. I went to school and played ball. I was a fielder. Mama is elected president of the fortnightly. Went to school today. Not a very good day. Snowed just a little. Papa boiled from 16 to 18 gallons of syrup. Mama went to the fortnightly and she was elected president, but isn't going to accept it, I guess. Tooth is real sore. Saturday, April 20th. Papa went to the sugar house about four o'clock this morning. I carried his breakfast over to him. In the afternoon, we went over to Mr. Clements. Mr. Lilly had brought the goat over there. We brought him home with us. Leon, Lucy, and I hitched him up. He tipped the cart over. <laughs> Helped Mama about the work. Papa went over to the sugar house about 4 o'clock a.m. and boiled till noon. Hazel and I carried his breakfast over to him. This p.m., we all went over to Lena's. Mr. Lily had an Angora goat. He sent, he sent it by train to Papa for Hazel. Mr. Clemens got it from the train and kept it for us. We brought it home. Didn't get home till 10.30. Monday, April 27th. I went to school, but Lucy didn't. She stayed home and helped Mama. I hitched up Billy. He tipped me over and skinned my elbow. <laughs> stayed at home to help Mama. I shan't ever miss one or two weeks of school for I don't learn much anyway. 
all old studies. We washed and ironed, also got parlor chamber ready to clean. Papa has been to Granville. He brought some oranges home. Wind has blown a gale. I went to school. Papa was to Milltown, and when he came back, he brought a goat harness and wagon. The head stall had bits and lines, and the harness side straps and tubs. I've been mayflowering. Rained and the wind blew all this a.m., but this p.m. it cleared off and the sun shone. Papa went to Middletown to the annual meeting of telephone people. Papa brought H a harness for the goat, also cart. Friday, April 26th. I went to school. Miss St. Mary did not go home. I found Topsy's kitten. It is gray and has got one eye open. My goat has been tied on the barn floor. <laughs> It's seven this morning again and has rained all day. It's raining now. We did our Saturday's work because I've got to go and have my teeth fixed. Painted the back stairs down. Papa made tub sugar. Mama don't feel a bit well. Sunday, April 26th, 7th. Lucy and Mom and I went up to town. Lucy and I went to Pulteney with Aunt Ellen and Henry. We saw moving pictures at church. Went to church, stayed to Grandma's to dinner. Hazel and I went to Pulteney with Aunt Ellen to take Henry back. We had supper there, and then Henry came back as far as East Pulteney with us. Mama stayed up with us to go to the church. Had stereopticon views of missionary work. Lovely day. Mountain on fire towards Pulteney. Wednesday, May 1st. I went May fine. I went to school. Lucy and Mama went over to Mrs. Cook's. Nice day. Helped Mama. Went over to Mrs. Cook's this p.m. with Mama. Cut out my skirt pattern for Lena. H and some of school went Mayflowering. Mr. Leonard has come to make cheese. He boards at Mrs. Mr. Cook's. I'm going to take music lessons of Miss Stoolfire in Granville. She asks 75 cents for three quarter hour. But she's the best there is in the country, and I am perfectly delighted. Friday, May 10th. Went to school. Mama cleaned the bedroom. I went to a dance at the hotel, and Frank Richardson is proprietor. We went over to Grandma's at 12 o'clock. Cleaned the bedroom and went to a dance at the hotel. We went to Grandma's and stayed all night. That is, after 12, came home Saturday. Papa changed horses and went right along to Mr. Clemens and from there to East Lake George. Saturday, May 12th. Miss Cook and Baby came over. They do not like it because Mama didn't keep the cheese maker, but she couldn't. <laughs> Mrs. Cook came over, brought the baby. They are disgusted at us because we wouldn't board the cheese maker. Papa got back. Come on, Hazel. Mama said lights out. <laughs> so how did it all uh, turn out for Lucy and Hazel? So Lucy graduated from high school in Granville and studied horticulture through Cornell University. She married Robert Blakely and bore three children, Donald, Paul, and Barbara. When Robert died in 1926, she and the children moved back to the family farm to live with her parents. She later opened a flower shop in Rutland and Lucy died in 1983 at the age of 91. Hazel graduated from Middlebury College with a degree in chemistry. She worked as a chemist in a silk factory in Connecticut and pursued a graduate career in, my, in my, not my cancer, microscopy. My, 
microscopy. <laughs> and um, worked uh, for General Foods Corporation. Hazel never married. Upon retirement, she moved back to the family farm and lived with Lucy. She read the Wall Street Journal every day. Hazel died in 99 in 1999 at the age of 103. Ooh. So before we all begin um, sharing stories about uh, Hazel and Lucy, I have gifts for our actors and director. Melissa, will you come up, please? <laughs> so for Anya and Ellie, I'm giving you each a composition book. <laughs> <laughs> and I want both of you to remember that you make history every day, <laughs> especially today. <laughs> now our director, Melissa, was arriving her rehearsals on her bicycle. So we're giving her an old-fashioned bicycle bell. <laughs> Good luck attaching it. Here's the <laughs> Robin. <laughs> cool. Thank so you. let's have another round of applause. In the diaries, they go to school a lot. How far did they have to go to go to school? You know, they were lucky because the school was really just across the road from the farm. So they did not have a long walk. It was very convenient for them. Mm -hmm. Now, um, it's on the market right now, I believe. Again? <laughs> yeah. for sale. Somewhere. Okay. All right. So um, we can begin now if any of you have stories, any comments you want to make, or any of you have stories. I know some of you knew Hazel, I certainly did, and some of you may have known Lucy. So during this time, if you want to get up and get something to eat, um, it'll kind of be the last call because once we finish our discussion, um, I'm going to...